This is the bow of our CNC 39. And as you can see, there's no anchor rollers, no bow sprit. But we're in project mode. And we're going to take this aluminum angle and bolt it up underneath the side of the hull to where it extends out front and we'll notch it and straighten it out so it'll make a square platform out there to mount these two anchor rollers and these are going to mount out in front like that without covering up any of our shackles and where the rope goes out so project time let's do some measuring some drilling some bolting and fabrication and make this happen and once the anchors are hung we can install the windlass as you can see i've laid out my bolt pattern pretty much in the center of this two inch web and there's seven holes every four inches and that'll put about a two foot piece against the hull for strength and then I'll notch this and flare it so that it's square to mount the anchor rollers so let's drill some mounting holes okay we've got the holes drilled in the angle we're fitting it up to the bow going to put two bolts in it you can see i got a string out there holding it so i can notch it and start bending it in line with where i want to mount these rollers so let's get to drilling gordon i'm drilling more holes in the boat right ahead of our cnc star That's a lot of fiberglass here. Let me put two hands on it. This is how this is going to look. That's two inch structural angle. We're going to bolt to the side of the boat. Now you can see it's not square. Of course, nothing on the boat square. So we're going to buy some plastic wedges that we can drill through that'll be good and solid and level this up. We'll get them from Home Depot and you can see where we're going to notch it here and Take a piece out so we can bend this around straight this direction once we get it bolted up level. So that's what we're working on. We got all the holes drilled. Now we just need to get some bolts and wedges. There we go. 7 7 16 holes port, 7 7 16 holes starboard. And uh, right there where the last hole is is where we'll take a notch out of the angle and flare it out straight for the bow rollers but we got to buy those plastic wedges to square everything up so home depot time okay the two by two angles loosely on the side of the boat and we're trying to figure out the right wedge combination that's uh going to hold it plumb so let me play with that i think that's uh don't start out with enough taper. So what I've done is I've cut the tip off two wedges. I'm gonna try and put them in there staggered and we'll see how that looks. Definitely two wedges. And that pretty much flush right angles this angle. And that's the way I'm gonna want it. So I've got some more wedges on order. And when I bolt this up tight, this is how I'll do it. I'll wedge it out square. Okay, we're bolted up there with a couple wedges underneath it. Pretty happy with the alignment. I'll perfect it when I go to tighten it up. Finally, the aluminum will have some play in it. But you can see it extends out. We're going to cut a pie out of this flange here and bend this around straight. So let's get to working with a grinder. You 
can see here where I've drilled a 3 8 hole back at the root of the, the angle. And as I cut the pie out, that'll allow me to bend it easier. And the depth of the blade for the grinder don't get quite back that far. So that'll serve the purpose for that relief. And you can see where we've removed some of the flange there. You can see where the bolt the drill hole was to give us a little more relief and we were able to bend this out so now it's fairly straight we'll do one for the other side and the end result is we'll put a plate on it and these anchor rollers will sit out here on this platform that we're building so in progress let's do one for the other side You're going to have all kind of poor bastards trying to do this now. <laughs> this is my friend Sam. We're at his garage doing this welding work. You can see we did get it done, but we struggled because we didn't have quite the right setup. Tell us about it, Sam. Well, because of Mike's uh, genius welding ability, he was able to make this aluminum spool work through the long line, even though that's not how it's supposed to work. Yeah. It's a picture of the gun setup you're supposed to use with aluminum. And now we know why. And now we know why. The aluminum wire is too soft to feed good, but we got it with many tries and a little bit of grinding, or a lot of grinding, but it's done. Now we can bolt these to the boat. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home and continue the next step. We're making some gusset plates to go on top of the angles to strengthen them where they're welded. I perceive that with my country boy engineering degree, cruiser engineering degree, to be the weak point. We're borrowing a friend's drill press to make this easy. While we have access to the drill press, the top plates were pre-drilling those to attach to the angles. We in the right spot, Gordon? Yeah. Let's drill her. butyl tape, we got our flat washers, our bolts, our backing washers, got our plastic wedges to make the angle conform to the hull and be square, so let's hang some angle and bolt her up. The bow sprit for the anchor rollers is taking shape. We've got the angles welded, gusset plated, the bolts are loose through the hull. You can see I've got a smaller piece of angle I script to both sides to hold everything square that way. I've got the legs square to the plate that I made to mount the uh, anchor rollers. And one of the anchor rollers lay in there just to get a, an idea of alignment and what the total length needs to be. Now we're going to drill some holes and mount the mounting plate. The bow spread is coming into true form now. There's the platform to put the bow rollers. You can see I'm working from my dinghy in Boot Key Harbor, Marathon, Florida. I'm on anchor. Uh, so we've got all our holes drilled to put the plate on. So let's get these uh, screwed down. And just a note, I'm using stainless steel hardware, of course, but I'm using lock nuts instead of lock washers. Uh, don't ever want this vibrating loose, especially in heavy seas. So, making sure it's not going to become a rattle trap. I can imagine this sharp corner of this angle going down the side of the boat. Could get hung up on something, you know, around a dock, a piling or something, so... We've got it marked. We're probably not going to cut on that line. We'll probably cut here and just kind of taper this to where if we catch a pile at a dock, it'll glance off. So let's take the grinder while I got plenty of batteries and do some grinding. I'm going to use two hands. I'm in a dinghy, 
So I'm not going to film this. I don't want to cut myself. There we go. We've successfully rounded this off so she won't catch on any piling or anything at the dock. And you can get a good view of how I used hard plastic furniture leveling wedges to square this up with the hull to where my top surface was flat. You can see some dinghy weight coming my way, so I'll take a break and show you where I'm at. I've got the plate bolted down on the starboard side. These ropes are a little two to one haul system, so I gotta make some braces to go underneath here and they'll hold this in the orientation I want. But uh, got this side cut off, rounded off a little bit. I don't want to spear anything. So hopefully that blunts it down a little bit and will reduce any damage should I bump something. So let's go to the other side, finish bolting this one down, the holes are drilled and make these cuts there. Now we're mounting the bow rollers on the bow sprit. Ah, if I had to do it all over again, I'd change a little alignment here and there to where I could get this bolt on the other side of the web at the angle. But I think she'll be fine. I'll skip that and just drill a hole here and maybe add a hole up forward there. She'll be good and stout either way. And uh, I think she'll hold two anchors just fine. So let me get the drilling and get the bolt. We've got the anchor rollers mounted on front of our bow sprit. So everything on this level is substantially complete. We've got these ropes holding it up in line where we want it to be when we tighten up the mounting bolts. But we're going to add a reinforcement brace down to the hall like this and aesthetically it may not be the prettiest but it'll be the strongest and we'll bolt it right there and on this end instead of bolting right into the hall I've decided to cut a couple short pieces of this bolt that to the hall so that top flange can bolt to that and I'll get good mating surface good strength so let's do some drilling, some trimming, some cutting, and uh, get these braces installed. Got the anchor rollers mounted on the bow sprit, and I like it. Now I'm going to reinforce it underneath because I got these ropes holding it up in the alignment I want. And I've got my holes drilled to attach my reinforcing bracket. Man, I'm figuring out exactly where going to mount to the hull. I've got a vice grip in place. You twist it a little bit, it'll mount flush. Of course, I'll taper the corners and stuff to reduce the uh, influence when the bow goes through the waves. And I've got some marks in here. So I'm going to take this back off, take it back up to the back of the boat where I can drill without rocking in the dinghy. Then we'll come back and put it on. Our bow sprit and bow rollers in all their glory are now mounted project is complete both sides are symmetrical so you can see where the big two inch angle was bolted down the side the uh, reason i bolted it so long seven bolts is i wanted to spread that load out on as much haul as possible and my doubler plate to give it as much strength where i cut it and welded it theoretically the weld should be a strong but uh it didn't hurt to put that on uh, you can see there's a little roll to it. The hard plastic wedges I used to try and square all that up. Eh, maybe could have used another one. Uh, again, big two and a half inch piece of angle with four bolts supporting the struts. And it puts a little roll in these angles because I didn't wedge that out to be square. But I didn't want it that way. I think she'll be fine. Uh, you see everything underneath bolted up. Everything's with lock nuts. Don't never want to rattle loose, become a rattle trap. So, I don't know if it's the best way to put anchor rollers on a CNC. And this is not an instructional video. This is how I did it. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. I'll show you one more shot on the inside of the anchor locker. 
so you can see the other side of all the bolts. And this is in the anchor locker. You can see I used fender washers backed up with flat washers on all the bolts. Couldn't get any uh, locking nuts for 3 8 locally, so I put lock washers under them. These are the four lowered for the lower struts. You can see different bolt lengths and stacks of washers. With that uh, small angle torqued, it was hard to get them through, so I just stacked washers on them and made everything work. So, put a little engineering, I'm sure you could do it better, but this is the basic idea. When I bought this CNC 39, I asked the original owner or second owner, the person I bought it from, how come it doesn't have a bow spreader or anchor rollers or anything? He said, young man, they built CNCs to race, not to anchor. But uh, I'm a cruise it around the world and be anchored a lot, so that's what the bow sprit and anchor rollers are for. Hope it gave you some ideas and uh, you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like, there's lots more projects to do.